Dax came into my life through a customer. We had some friends through the shop that had a golden retriever. There was like three kids and the guy lost his job and was having to move into an apartment. And he hit me up knowing that I love dogs and said, hey, is there any way that you can help me find a home for Dax? I said, yeah, just bring the dog to the shop and I will find him a home. So we brought Dax home to our house in Lodi and he was a rambunctious two-year-old golden retriever. So it was a little bit of a transition for our whole family. But after a week or so, I think we all agreed that Dax was probably sticking around. described Dax as the ultimate people dog. Like, from the day I got him, he was always in the kayak store. Every time the front doorbell rang, he was there to greet you and engage and just loved people. And because of that, most everyone loves him. So somewhere along the line, Dax's left bottom canine tooth started to go a little sideways. And we thought it was just because all his time chewing on a tennis ball. Um, I always called him Snaggletooth. Just recently, about, I don't know, six months ago, we noticed that there was like a little like ball or tumor underneath the tooth. So we took him in to have it looked at. And they did a biopsy. And it turns out that tumor is cancerous. And he had bone cancer in his jaw. And that it was slowly spreading and kind of got the heads up that, you know, he may have six months, he may have up to a few years. It's not worth going in there and operating and taking half his jaw to get rid of it, but that it would probably eventually be the thing that he, uh, that he dies from. Yeah, I'm just more apt to like say yes to the bike ride or the car trip or normally like I, I hate going paddling with him, but like he loves it. So I'm going to bring him with me. You know, he's a, he's a wet pain in the ass, but like I'm just more apt to make sure he's included in whatever day to day things we're up to. back would I do anything different I don't think so I mean since we've got this dog we've had a pretty dang good life we've done a lot of really cool adventures we've sailed we've paddled we've ridden bikes he's been on a thousand hiking trips backpacking trips you know he got to be a part of a outdoorsy adventurous family and 
you know, I see all these other golden retrievers around, they're like perfectly brushed and, you know, well manicured and on a leash and that's just not the kind of guy he is. He's like a dirt bag rolling in the sand, fetching a stick, outdoorsy kind of dog. And I feel like he's got to live a good, good life with us. Mm -hmm.